I really love fats, especially this yeah. chunky baby fat. What about you? Do you love fats? The first thing we should address is the misinformation around this topic. We've all been told that high fat food increase cholesterol and that this is the cause of heart disease. Even the word fat is associated with, well, being fat. How did something as crucial to our health get such a bad reputation? In the 60s, for the first time in history, cardiovascular disease became a major threat to public health. Sugar consumption was believed to be the cause. The food industry, backed by the media and the Sugar Association, started a huge lobby to benefit producers of sugar and refined carbs. By antagonizing fats, they were able to push this agenda, making us addicted to sugar and refined carbs, leading us to consume more and more, never being satisfied. In my previous video, I was telling you about how the food pyramid is a scam. It blows my mind how they're giving these messages to kids, even doctors saying that you should base your diet on carbs. I'm happy to see that all this has come to light and that more and more people are talking about it. Several studies have proven that a low-carb diet high in fats, protein and vegetables helps prevent cancer, cardiovascular disease and diabetes. And if you want to take care of your heart, the best way is to work out consistently and to stay away from processed foods and sugar. Your body needs the fatty acids that are in high fat foods because it doesn't fabricate them on its own. These fatty acids have a crucial role in the production of cells and hormones. They're also important for vitamin absorption, especially the fat soluble ones, such as A, D and E. The energy that fats provide is efficient and long lasting. And like the carbs, they don't raise your glycemic index. So you don't get those sugar crashes after eating. For me, this has been incredibly important because I have more energy that I can put into anything I want. After all, it's liberating not to be groggy in the afternoon. They're also incredibly satiating, so you actually feel satisfied after you eat. And this is important for having a healthy relationship with food. Ever since I started eating clean, I only have two meals a day. And that's more than enough. I make sure to get plenty of fat and I really enjoy them. You can probably say it's my favorite part of the day. It's better to avoid processed products such as margarine and hydrogenated fats and focus on the real sources of fats. My favorites are fat deficient meats, eggs, cheese, yogurt, avocado, grass-fed butter, nuts and seeds. I would recommend to always go for the most natural options you can find. Organic, quality plants and for meat and dairy, it's better to get it from grass-fed animals if you can. This ensures that the nutrients will be more available and that they will be as little processed as possible. It's incredibly encouraging to see that we're getting more access to information. That way we can do the proper research and make our own conclusions. For me, the best proof of all of this is how much better my mind and my body have felt since I started this lifestyle. As I always say, if you try this, do it one day at a time. It takes a while for the body to adjust and to get used to a new energy source, so keep that in mind. Thanks for watching, I hope this video was helpful. 